What's going on, Spooky? Yeah, I know you're concerned, too. It was a sad situation. And this was not our planned video for today, was it? No, we were going to talk about some amazing additional flavor to that great pot of peas we, we had made. And show everybody another tip and trick to make the best beans and peas on the planet. But that's not what we're going to do. Right, Spooky? So, hey, friend and family, so glad you could stop on by today. And now I'm going to talk about something serious that's been not affecting me, but someone I know that is close to me. And what is that, you may ask? It might be. Well, that's cyberbullying, online harassment, which since the dawn of the internet, which I've been on the internet since it was created, released to the public back in the 90s. And I've seen it proliferate over time. You have these people that have no other purpose in life but to single out people and make it their sole mission in life to make their lives miserable. And I don't understand why. And I have experienced a little bit on this channel in the last seven years. In fact, actually five times. And of course, those people are no longer visible on the channel. I made them go away. And creators can do that. But you see, they really don't know. Because the way YouTube does it, so they don't lose these trolls' views, is a creator can hide a person from the channel. So when that person that was acting up and being a bully or personally attacking the creator or people in their community, which I've had to hide one or two for doing just that, not actually attacking me, but attacking others in my community. And when they come back to the channel and they look under the video, they can still see their comment and think they're okay. But you know what? I can't see them no more. And neither can anybody else. And every comment they make on the channel will never be seen as long as they're hidden from view. And that's a fact. Yeah, it's sort of the kind and friendly way YouTube handles that. But on other platforms, it's different. We'll take Twitch. On Twitch, if you're trolling, personally attacking, cyberbullying, the creator or others in chat, because Twitch is a live stream platform. You don't put up videos until after the stream is through. And then your stream is posted. So people can go back and look at it, just like here on YouTube. And as you know, there's a difference between a video and a live stream. Videos don't have chat rooms unless you make them a premiere. Where a live stream has a chat room every time. Where you can make comments, which hopefully are either asking questions, informational, or all good. But it's when these comments, like on Twitch, get hateful, personal, actually start threatening people's lives. Not only the lives of the person streaming, but of their children and their wives. Then, once you report it, you can get suspended for the first time up to a week. The second time, I think it's two weeks, maybe more. But that repeated actions of personally attacking somebody, threatening physical harm, or uh, giving up personal information, I mean, these turds will go through great extremes to find people's addresses. If nothing more, the state they live in. Or the country too. Whatever they can dig up. Or they think they can. Wherever the person's at. And then. They'll mention that in chat. 
Some get very specific, but a lot of times it's just old addresses that are out of date. But they don't know that and they think they're correct. And that right there constitutes doxing, which is also a crime, just like cyberbullying is now. In fact, both cyberbullying and doxing are not only a crime in all 50 states, even though there's not a federal statute to address it, you can also bring up a civil lawsuit for defamation and harassment. So that makes me wonder why these people don't understand at everything they type, everything they say, there's a record of it on every platform. I mean, unless I delete a comment, which I rarely do, or I hide a user, which I've only done five times, the comments are forever preserved under the videos. And if you've ever seen lives or gone to channels that do lives, you'll know they upload their lives after the live is through. And not only does it show the live, but it shows the chat content too. So there's always a record of what these trolls do. And yeah, if they're just being snooty or they don't like something or they don't think it's right, yep, yeah, that's their opinion, their belief, and they have the right. Where it becomes cyberbullying is when you make it personal. And some of the things I've seen People will put out, like I said, you know, personal information, uh, education. They'll put out where you work. And all that gets, starts running over to doxing. Yes, it does. So not only are they committing one crime, but now they're committing two. Yep. But here of late, like I said, I'm somebody I'm close to. I've seen this happening more and more. And all they want to do is stream, live their life, and go on with it. But there's certain people, for whatever reason, won't let that happen. Or they don't want it to. But it's something we should all never tolerate. If you're in a live stream and you see this going on, you should definitely start immediately calling these people out. Because see, that's what you can do. You can, don't get personal by any means. See, unlike them, which will also throw in all kinds of lies, ethnic slurs, sexual slurs, I've seen it all here of late. Oh yeah, they throw it all in there. And you won't believe how bad it gets. When it's all being recorded for all time. To me, that's just insane. But then I'm thinking, what drives these people to do these things? It can't be but a few things. One, they gotta have extremely low self-esteem. And secondly, they gotta have mental problems. It's the only thing that can explain it. But it's been around ever since the internet was around. Because see, behind this screen, behind a keyboard, whether you're sitting in your office, your basement, or in your living room, you can type up anything you want with an anemone. See, we can't see you like you can see us. You can be anywhere, be any person in real life. But then again, you can proclaim to be anything you want in the comments, whether it's below a video 
or in the chat room too. You can have PhDs, be rocket scientists, whatever you choose. Nobody knows for sure. Because we don't know who you really are. You can claim military service, whatever profession you want to, call yourself out as an expert, whether it's on gardening, cooking, a chef, of a five-star Michelin restaurant, if that's what you want to do. But that doesn't make you what you really are. Now, like I said, this isn't all about me in this channel. It's about someone close to me, and I'm tired of the crap. And there are things we can do. Since everything is recorded and preserved, we can send it to law enforcement officials. Yes, we can too. And we can also send it to an attorney, which can investigate and find out who they really are and file a civil lawsuit. Yes, it can happen. And it has many times here on the internet. But yeah, I wanted to talk about this because if you see it going on, try to help shut it down. And like I say, it's not about here on this channel so much. Like I say, it's only happened five times. And I and all of you don't have to suffer that anymore from those five individuals. I have no clue what they're typing. They probably still are. <laughs> And that's just fine if it keeps them happy. But what bothers me when I start seeing a lot of the more really dangerous harassment going on, when they start upping it to physical threats, wanting to come to people's houses and do all kinds of things, not only to them, but their children and wives. To me, in my mind, that's a psycho waiting to be born yes it is because if you'll think about it in your mind and you plan it out you're only one step away if you think you can and can find out from committing it in real life and that's why you've seen so many people I know I've seen many I used to watch and view here on YouTube that finally just couldn't take it anymore. And I've often said here on YouTube, it only takes one comment to take a beautiful day and ruin it for you. It's amazing how that works. You can have 99 comments praising you and you can have one really get down on your case and it brings your whole mood down. You know it does. Because that's how we are in real life. We can be having a great day. And here comes our personal turd in the punch bowl. Just to shoot us down. And there you have it. See, so, yeah, I feel strongly about this. And I think we need to make it stop. And I'm going to be doing all I can to make it stop for the one that's close to me. So, that's all we got for you today. I hate to interject something serious. But on a happier note, I had my birthday yesterday. And I'm now 68. I made it this far. Will we make 69? We'll just have to see. But tomorrow, as I planned for today, I'll do another video. And we'll talk about that amazing pot of peas as I show you how I continue to make it up, if you want to. But if you don't, I'll probably show you anyway, because that's just what I do. And I'll probably talk about my birthday some too, because it actually turned out to be way better than I thought. So we'll end it with a cliffhanger. So I, Spooky, laying at my feet, 
and the rest of the kitty crew and Gracie, the princess of the house. See you on that next video and episode of Mr. Tom's Neighborhood. Goodbye for now.